My dream is to become an architect. I like uh, buildings uh, and as we all know architecture is the art of buildings and I, l I like to look at buildings and uh, look at how they are made. So, As I've uh, mentioned before, life is a sort of an artwork. So if, if I could use this metaphor that, the, uh, that life is a, uh, is a way to build this building of, of life. Um, so probably I don't know. Probably uh, the one of the one of my favorite uh, like architect is the uh, I, I can't remember his first name though. But uh, the Guggenheim. Have you ever heard the Guggenheim Museum? That's uh, that's one of the very um, unique and creative architect architecture in 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 the history of you know in the history and. In the, in the earth. So, uh, um, Guggenheim, or there are a lot of, uh, you know, creative architect in the world, I think. And the architect is, is and, and one of the trend or one of the important, you know, uh, thing, that, thing to remember to become an architect is, is, is making a building, is ability to make a building uh, a, a eco friendly way. You know, as this building is a uh, sort of a symbol of of uh, civilizations, but uh, but it but uh, but the thing is that we have to make this harmony with the nature, and especially in Nepal, Nepal is one of the greatest country which has the wonderful and amazing nature. I think one of the greatest one. So to build a uh, sort of uh, architect, architecture uh, here in Nepal, it has to be, it has to be eco-friendly. It has to be built in a very eco-friendly way or, a, or in a very environmental way. So you have to, and I, and I hope you, uh, you, you, should, you could have a chance to learn about the environment and the nature, you know, so that, uh, you know, building a a, 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 an architecture is not just for for the convenience of the human beings, you know. So it has to be, uh, you know, built in a way that we ha we could live with the nature. So I hope you could you know have a chance to learn about the uh, ecology and environment as well. My name is Anand Gupta, and I want to become a pilot. Well, every time I take plane it's it's a really uh it really makes me nervous you know <laughs> so if you would like to be a pilot then i truly wish that you uh could become a pilot who drive the airplane in a very uh safe way you know and and it all shaky things really makes me nervous you know so i hope uh um you as a pilot and as a, as a future pilot and you know, drive very smoothly. This is Sanskriti and my dream is to become an hydropower engineer. It is because Nepal is really rich in water resources and there is no one to utilize it. So I want to be the person to utilize it. I think this is one of the greatest dreams you have, you can have in Nepal. Especially Nepal has uh, one of the uh, uh, biggest resource from water, you know, in, in the earth, in the, in, in the world, I think. So, um, yeah, so to, to, to create this, uh, like, technology on the, on the, you know, to build this energy from the water and hydropower will be really needed for the future of Nepal. So I really, you should, uh, I really hope you could uh, keep going on to study hard. And, uh, and um, yeah, this is really, this is all part of the, um, the, the endeavor to make this world a, a sustainable place, you know, to live. Not just a better place. It's, it has to be sustainable to, to you know, because, uh, for example, uh, the activist in India, her name is Vandana Shiva, who imp uh, emphasizes emphasize her uh, work in the uh, sustainability 
we have to think about this sustainability for at least, I quote, six, I mean, seven generations, you know? So um, if you, if I, I mean, if you would like to be a, you know, this, you know, technology expert in hydropower would be really needed for, for, to make this world a sustainable place. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I hope you good luck, you know, it's really important, I think. It was really a great pleasure and, uh, to talk to you today, and, um, and I'm really, really uh, happy and delightful to learn your dreams and your hope, and, and, I, and I believe that the future of Nepal or future of the world is really bright, all because of you. And, uh, and I truly wish that you all become the visionaries of, of, of human future. All right, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. And it was a great pleasure to meeting you today. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching the show. I wish you had a wonderful time. Thank you for your comments and suggestions. For further comments and suggestions, Please do write us on mnpgtv at gmail.com for letters GPO8975 EPC5478 Kathmandu. See you next week.